Welcome back to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss news and views about pop culture, science fiction, fantasy, food, cooking, the outdoors, and more. Madam Web is being totally destroyed right now on Rotten Tomatoes by critics. The Tomato Meter score is sitting at 22% as of the time that I'm recording this video. But before proceeding, I'd like to ask everyone to please like this video, please subscribe to this channel, and please press the bell to receive notifications. Thanks! This is really bad. I mean, it doesn't get much worse than this. So let's take a look and see what the critics are actually writing about Madam Web to see what, how bad it really is. So Caitlin Booth at Bleeding Cool writes, Madam Web has some good ideas, but poor execution mimicking the worst aspects of early 2000s comic book movies drags down the entire production into something as thin and flimsy as a spider web. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Julian Roman from MovieWeb writes, The struggle to find anything positive is a fruitless endeavor. Madam Web disappoints in every regard. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a really bad movie, folks. Really, really bad. Chris Joyce of Movies and Munchies of YouTube writes, while the plot has some intriguing aspects and some of the editing works to enhance the experience, the production is hampered by poor special effects and even worse action sequences, marred by blurry and indiscernible stunts. <laughs> Well, according to the numbers and other websites, the movie only has an $80 million production budget. So obviously, that's going to mean that the movie probably has some production issues and probably some editing issues too, because they didn't have the money to spend on this, which is good for Sony and Columbia Pictures because they don't want to lose too much money on this flop. Prajbot Baines of But Why Though a Geek Community wrote, Madam Webb's utter lack of originality is a testament to how corporatized and soulless it feels. Well, when you take a bunch of D-list characters from the comic books that hardly anybody knows and then completely change their backstories to the point where they're not even recognizable, especially the titular character of Madame Webb, because this modernized version of her is nothing like the elderly old woman that's in the comic books. So, yeah, this was, they made some incredibly bad creative choices. And I talked about that in my previous video that I did on this movie. Well, both previous videos. So, Fred Topol of United Press International wrote, Bad in ways even debacles like Catwoman and Batman and Robin never broached. <laughs> Yeah, and those were two very bad movies. Catwoman was bad, and Batman and Robin. I have two videos where I talk about 10 most unwatchable films, and I do believe that that one is in the first video, because Batman and Robin, that really was a stinker of a movie. I, I couldn't even believe that I sat all the way through it in the theater. I haven't watched it since then because it's just so bad. Catherine Gonzalez of Awards Watch wrote, Origin stories and standalone films in the superhero world can be fun and quirky, looking at you, Venom, but Madam Web is neither. <laughs> well, that's a stinger there. So let's look at Carla Hay of Culture Mix. Madam Web and the Marvels are the dumb and dumber of female-led Marvel comic superhero movies. After the triumphs Black Widow and Black Panther Wakanda Forever, I don't know that I would go that far in describing those that way, it's a travesty that Madam Web is a low point in wannabe feminist superhero films. I am so happy that she admits herself that this is a feminist movie, because that's what I've been saying. This is a woke feminist identity politics movie. I'm very happy that I just got a confirmation from somebody who is probably rather woke herself. Peter Gray of the AU Review wrote, Johnson deserves so much better, and what she gives the film it doesn't remotely repay in her favor, but her sense of humor takes the film further than we expect. 
So I guess Dakota Johnson might be a dim bright spot in the movie, but because the movie itself is so bad, anything that she's doing in it is clearly not saving it because this only has a 22% uh, tomato meter score on Rotten Tomatoes. Germaine Lucier of io9.com wrote, Mana Web is a two-hour trailer for the movie you think you're watching, but actually aren't. If that's confusing, welcome to the world of Madam Web, where everyone is confused about basically everything all the time. <laughs> oh, now that is really bad. Yeah, you know, I have to point this back at the writers who the writing team that they hired for this movie is so bad. They released Morbius and all those other flops. For anything like that, you got to lay it squarely on the writers of this piece of crap movie. And let's see, Grace Randolph of Beyond the Trailer, she doesn't like the movie either. Let's see what she wrote. A new low for Sony spider man movies. This is what I have been saying about this movie. This is a female-led movie without Spider-Man. And all four of these Spider-Woman characters in this movie are all supposed to be connected to Spider-Man, and he's not in the movie. This whole movie is about replacing Spider-Man with an ensemble cast of four female superhero characters that nobody has a clue who they are. Madam Web is connected to the source material in name only. That's exactly what I've been saying. And seems more like a bland, watered-down episode of Netflix's Jessica Jones or the CW's Birds of Prey than a professional film. Yikes. Wow. She really slammed this movie. And she said exactly what I've been saying in my videos about this movie. She is spot on. I'm actually really thrilled that she can't stab the movie. Tessa Smith of Mama's Geeky wrote, suffers from a weak villain, cringy dialogue, and a too long runtime that Pepsi very clearly sponsored. <laughs> I'm assuming that there are Pepsi products being shown in the movie. This is not going to be helpful for Pepsi. Between Pepsi and Coca-Cola, I prefer Coca-Cola. So it's just as well to me that Pepsi is sponsoring this movie. Aglaya Berlutti of Hypertextual wrote, Madam Webb proves that Sony still doesn't know what to do with the Spider-Verse. Generic at times, absurd, and always mediocre. It is the lowest point of the Arachnid franchise. <laughs> I have to completely agree with that. This is the spider man Spider-Woman movie. And yeah, this thing should never have been made. And the fact that they hired those two truly awful writers for it, <laughs> this thing's going down really fast. <laughs> That is a perfect way to end this, going through all these reviews. Nobody likes this movie. The critics are slamming it right and left. There's only like two or three that have anything good to say about it, probably because they were paid to do so. I'm very glad to see that these critics were at least honest about what they think about the movie. Because, you know, when you're reading a negative review about something like this, it's very clear that they're not getting paid by the studio to say glowing things about the movie. No, they're getting paid to do their jobs, but they're being honest about their assessments of this movie. And it's a bad movie. So if you decide to go and see Madam Web, you do so at your own risk. Thanks for watching today, and a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, and please feel free to share a comment. If you'd like to help support this channel, please press the red subscribe button, and please press the bell to receive notifications for new content. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Threads, and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Outloud Geek.